Hey y'all, I'm back and I apologize for my inconsistency. Um, life alert, I got a new job, new apartment, new church, got rid of some old friends, and got the same man. So, I mean, life is good. Really? Like, I just cannot record. I'm not doing this again. Um, so, pretty much, I just finished taking a class with this international makeup artist named P. Lewis. P. Louise, something like that. She's from England, and I got some tips from her, so I'm going to bring them right to you. I'm going to be working on my brows today and doing an eye look. Same foundation that I've been doing, so I'm not going to re-record that. But without further ado, let's get started. All right, everyone. So I'm going to start out by brushing my hair up and out with a hair spoolie. The new eyebrow pencil that I'm using is by MAC. Um, it's that eyebrow pencil in the shade Stud. I believe this is the darkest pencil that they have. I've actually fallen in love with it. I start out by tracing a deep dark line underneath the brow to give you that crisp look. And then I start by doing hair like strokes up and over. Um, I give myself a line on the top since I have little to no eyebrows <laughs> and I start to just fill in my brows making sure that the front is up and over strokes so that it gives you a sense of hair like strokes. Then I am going to go on from my brows to clean them up. I'm going to use MAC Select Cover Up in the shade NW45. I use this dark shade because I don't want it to be very bright under my eyebrow. I'm doing a very bright eye look so I keep it dark. If I'm doing um, something that's more glam and I'm going out I'll do a lighter color but for our natural ladies if you would like to do this for an everyday look this is the perfect color for my skin tone um, the way I set this is pat 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 I learned that from P Louise just keep patting so now you see I did not put any powders on it I just pat 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 away so these are the eyeshadow palettes that I'm going to be using. I'm going to put the links in below um, this video. But I'm going to use a loose pigment and the combination of those two palettes. Also, I got some new goodies from Ulta. So I'm going to use this NYX Vivid Bright Eyeliner. Um, so let's get started. I'm going to start out by giving myself a little white of base. So I used a, the white from the BH Cosmetic Eyeshadow Palette just to give my purple a little bit of a pop. So I brush on some white just right above my crease area. These brushes that I'm going to be using today I got off of Amazon for like $2 guys. I am a one brush kind of girl and this brush is like magnificent. So I use this brush for like the next three or four colors and it's perfect so as long as you go from light to dark you can use one brush without having to clean it or anything like that so I use that purple all over my lid and now I'm gonna go in closer to my lid my lower lid um, with a darker purple this is giving me a little bit of an ombre effect um, I'm not doing anything perfect I'm not I'm just trying to keep it closer to the crease area as you see the diff you can see the difference between my two eyes and I'm just patting it on and brushing it to blend 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 next I'm gonna go in with a little darker of a purple but I'm gonna use the pointed brush now um, this is going to start to give me a little depth I'm gonna keep this right in the crease right where the socket of my eyeball is this way um, I get that real defined dark area so I place the dark um, color and I actually think I go in with a little black also at some point place it in there and then I use that same brush that I was using earlier to blend and blend it out this making sure that you don't have any harsh lines now I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Master Conceal and a tapered brush to give myself a cut crease. I'm going to use a half circle technique. Guys, do not talk about me, okay? I struggled with this. And I can admit when I struggle, alright? Um, but I'm using the same technique that I used earlier, pat, pat, pat. You don't need any powder as long as you set your concealer. And all you have to do is pat, pat, pat away. So 
So now I'm going to go in with that loose pigment and another tapered brush and I'm going to place that pigment all over where I put that concealer. Uh, I'm trying to be as careful as possible but as you see I am not doing a great job but it's okay because I'm going to cover it up with some glitter. Now if you see that loose pigment on my eyelash all you have to do is take a spoolie and wipe that right away. You'll be good to go. So you see that eye is complete on one side. That's what I want the other one to look like. So I'm going to use that NYX Vivid purple eyeliner and do my eyeliner. Unfortunately, this does crack a little bit, so less is more when it comes to this eyeliner. Um, try to get it how you want it without having to put excess on top of something that you already applied. I hope that makes sense. Now I'm going to go in with my Too Faced Glitter Insurance and I'm going to just outline where I want my glitter and I'm going to put it right on top. I made this glitter on my own. I used some glitters that I got off of line um, from some dollar website. I will put the link down below and I mixed like four or five of them together to get this three dimensional glitter I guess you can call it. I don't remember which color purple I put underneath here, but I am going to put some purple underneath my lash line. I don't usually do this. I don't know why. I think this is a step I always skip, um, but I'm going to do it today. Um, I actually went all out. <laughs> so at this point, I'm pretty much done, guys. Um, yeah. Woo, that is beautiful. All right, y'all, I'm back and I'm done. Um, I put some mascara on and the mascara that I use is the Big Lash pink and green one from Maybelline. I put some eyelashes on. These are 99 cents off of AliExpress. Um, I really don't remember which one I picked, but I mean, I try every eyelash out there. Um, some other tips, um, I use this wonderful highlighter from Wet n Wild. I love this highlighter so much. On my lips, I just used a nude lipstick from L'Oreal, but I put this um, shade here from Boxum um, on it just to give it a little fluorescent look. Um, and Outside of that, that's pretty much it. Um, the look is done. It's pretty cute. I like it. Um, the glitter is just the right touch in my little ears because um, I'm feeling mighty fierce. But I'm done for today because I'm all makeup out. Mm, not really, but I'm tapped out. It's time for bed. It's really late. Um, so. Please, please, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you like this video and send some comments, any questions, concerns, or anything you want to see. Um, ciao for now.